Hey guys, uh, today I'll be using the two bucket method to wash my Tesla Model Y and I'll show you the results. You know, we'll see how it comes out, but stick around to the end. I'm going to share with you uh, my thoughts on the science of the two car method. And you may agree, you may not agree with me, but nonetheless, I'll share my thoughts on the science of the two bucket method. All right, let's get right into it. Does the two bucket car wash method work? If you're like me, you probably have been wondering, does the two bucket car wash method work? In this video, I'll be washing my Tesla Model Y using exactly this method. Let's begin. Both buckets I'll be using will have a grid guard. One will be the wash bucket with soap, and the other will be the clean water rinse. The soap I'll be using is called Slick Snowball from the Chemical Guys. I find that I've gotten my best washes using this soap. The suds cling to the dirt and makes everything so much easier throughout the wash. I'm going to start with a pre-wash to loosen up the dirt that has accumulated since my last wash. In your car you want to apply the least amount of pressure as possible to pre prevent any possible swirl marks I'll let the suds sit on the car for approximately 10 minutes before rinsing now that the dirt has softened up it's time to wash it off We are now ready to start washing. I'll begin by sticking my sponge in the wash bucket and I'll start washing the car from top to bottom in a straight line. trying to avoid any circular motions. I'm using the least amount of pressure as possible. Once I feel the sponge is dirty or becoming too dry, I'll dip it in the rinse bucket. Making sure to agitate the sponge on the grid guard at the bottom of the bucket. I will then squeeze it dry before dipping it in the wash bucket for the next round of washing. I'll continue this process until the car is completely washed. It's time to rinse. I usually try to use a mist setting if the nozzle has one. Finally, it's time to dry, and I like to use multiple microfibers during this drying process.
let's take a look. All right, guys, let's check out the final product. This is uh, washing my Tesla Model Y using the two bucket method. Let me know in the comments what you think. So is it actually worth it? Uh, my thoughts are I can actually skip this step, especially if I'm doing the pre-rinse, um, like I did earlier where I actually just sprayed the soap on let it sit for about 10 minutes to kind of soften up the dirt. Um, and then I washed it off and then I did my wash. So I think if you do that, you can actually skip uh, the two bucket method. All right, but if you have the time, maybe it helps a little bit. Um, I'm sure it can't hurt. And um, let me know your thoughts. If you've ever used it, what you think, what you think about the science behind the two bucket method, uh, please share it down in the comments. And if you're interested in any of the products I use today, I'll leave it below in the description. All right, I'll see you in the next video.